Close Racing Supply in Eldred, Pennsylvania has been in business since 1996, serving the motorsports industry with quality parts and components for dirt late models, modifieds, and stock lip race cars. Check out the expanded inventory at their new larger location or give them a call at 814-225-3250. In stock at Close Racing Supply are parts from the most popular manufacturers like All-Star Performance, Wears Machine, Dynamic Drive Lines, Winners Performance, Willwood, Quick Car Racing Products, and many others. They also manufacture their own quality CRS race components. Check out the website at CloseRacingSupply.com or follow them on Facebook. Empire Street Stock Series ready to take the green flag right now. Shane Wolf, Travis Webster will bring them to John Stewart's green flag off of turn number four. 30 laps the distance here for the Empire Street Stock Series. And more spin. Oh, now they're three wide for the two spot. Morseman tried to go up through the middle. Grant on the bottom. Grant will get the two spot away from Webster. Oh, Morseman's got trouble in the 44. Is it the right front tire? It might be. He slows on the top of turn number four, and I think that is going to draw the first yellow flag of the night. Caution lights are on here on lap number one. Here for this restart as they'll bring him to green off of turn number four. Back underway here with the Empire Street Stocks. And Grant got a big restart that time. And he might carry the momentum around the outside to the race lead. And we're parking him up into turn number one. Four cars involved in turn one. And we go back ever here at Woodhall as they will bring it back to John Stewart's green flag. Green flag back out. Wolf with a much better restart this time, but can he carry the momentum through one and two? Grant takes a peek down to the bottom. Could not get up alongside. Wolf will hang on to the lead here to three and four. Here comes Glenn Reitner in the 15 as he works up the outside groove. Battling here with Travis Webster. As Reitner will get the two spot. Here's the battle for the lead. Jimmy Grant underneath the Shane Wolf. Wolf will hold on to the top spot here at the line. But for how long will he hold on to it? Grant is there and here comes Glenn Reitner. Three car breakaway here for the lead into turn three. Grant down to the bottom. Tries to rotate off of turn four. Got a good run. Oh, it was still Wolf by a nose at the line. But now Grant rotates the bottom of one and two, and you've got a new race leader down to turn number three. Wolf going to fight hard back up on the top shelf here off of turn four. Can he get the run off of four? He's there, but Grant's got the lead by a nose. New race leader here on lap number five, and he's bringing Glenn Reitner with him. Reitner down to the bottom. Side by side for the two spot. Look out. Turn three. As DeZamba has found trouble again here in the have more damage than just that flat tire. As that left front tire is turning left going all sorts of ways. We'll keep an eye on that. Green flag is back out. Shane Wolf going to go to the outside lane here to turns one and two. Couldn't quite make it work that time. He'll try it again down here in three and four. He'll back the George Miller on 77. Oh! Cushion in turn four. Right there with Jimmy Grant, but Grant still leads at the line. But Shane Wolf has found something up top, and Dylan Cece's found it too. Cece now into the top five and going after Webster for fourth. Meanwhile, battle for the lead. Wolf up to the cushion off turn four. New race leader here on lap number eight. Make it seven. So Shane Wolf, Jimmy Grant, Glenn Reitner, three car breakaway for the top spot. CC, oh, Shane Wolf hold on to her, almost got over the cushion in turn four. And now here comes Reitner, down to the bottom on Jimmy Grant. Up alongside, battle for the two spot, they're almost three wide for the lead. But Wolf has the power off of turn two. Now Reitner, where does he go? three different lanes of racing right now and it's still Wolf, Grant, Reitner, Reitner gonna go through the middle he says the heck with the bottom, the heck with the top, I'll go right through the middle here 
as now he'll take the middle again into three and four. Look at it, three different lines being used right there. And while they battle, here comes CC in the 18. Dylan CC working the top shelf all the way around the racetrack now. As they work through turns three and four, I'm impressed. I did not think Shane Wolf was gonna be able to make that outside lane work. But you gotta work hard up there. You gotta really make that car work to make it go all the way around the top. And right now he's doing it. But Glenn Reitner, I think, has a little bit better race car right now. He's not shown his cards here just yet. As we're 12 laps in, three laps shy of the halfway point. Whoa, Wolf went way wide in turn one. Allowed Reitner to pull up alongside. Meanwhile, CeCe's up alongside Graham for third. Battle for the lead, battle for third here off of turn four. And Grant gonna hold off CC one more time. And now they're working lap traffic. They split the lap car in turn two. Shane Wolf with the lead. And CC has cleared Grant for third. Oh, a little bit of contact there in turn four. Trade a little paint, they'll keep moving. Meanwhile, Wilbur in trouble here in the 06. Oh, and Jimmy Grant goes around in turn one. Caution lights are coming on. As the 36 spins in turn one, I think he was by himself there. Right, here we go, coming back to green off turn four. Wolf did not get as good a restart as Reitner did, but what can Reitner do with it here to turn number one? Wolf way to the top side. Boy, I wasn't sure that was gonna work, but he's got it wound back up. Coming to the halfway point, 15 laps in, and now here comes CeCe down to the bottom. Three car battle for the lead with 15 to go. So again, Shane Wolf, gotta keep that momentum, gotta keep that car wound up. Reitner tried to shut the door off turn four, but Wolf is there. And now Wolf sails the car into three and four, got way too high. Reitner down to the bottom, but it's still Wolf at the line. That was a cheek clenching moment there for Wolf as he almost was headed to Hedgesville off of four. And we've got a car in trouble on the bottom of three and four. Yellow lights are on. They've been doing a great job in the top five all night long here against some stout competition. Green flag is back out. Wolf with a much better restart that time. Reitner down along the bottom lane of the racetrack, but Wolf has got the ponies off a of turn two. But now he's gotta be careful. You can't send it in too far into turn four. Wolf gathers it back up to put lap number 17 in the books. Reitner down to the bottom, and Reitner's just gonna keep trying the bottom and trying the bottom. He's gonna wait for Wolf to make a mistake, and as hard as Wolf has gotta run the race car, and maybe that's the moment right there. Reitner up alongside, but it's still Wolf at the line. I think if Glenn just stays patient here, oh, and Wolf got the right rear over the edge. Reitner goes to the race lead. CC goes to second. And that was the move that Glenn Reitner was waiting for. He was just gonna be patient because Wolf was beating the living daylights out of the top side and finally the right rear tire went over the edge. Classic Glenn Reitner right there. The Wiley veteran out of Jasper. Trying to pick up a big win here. But now, it's not Wolf he has to contend with. Dylan Cece now trying to close the gap. Coming up on nine laps to go. Does the 18 star have anything for team 15? Wolf, man, he is just gonna continue to beat the top for whatever it's worth, but I think, I think Wolf has finally got whatever's left out of the top out of it. So he's gonna try to settle in here, into that third spot. Potentially could walk out of here, the point leader in the Empire Street Stock Series. As we come up on lap number 23, seven laps to go now.
Breitner, CC, Wolf, Travis Webster, Brett Crawford, the top five. Everybody starting to spread out now. Teddy Morseman's made a pretty impressive run back through the field. He's gotten as far as eight. But like I said, he's got front end damage on that 44. I think there's a broken tie rod end on that 44. That left, rear, or left front tire is facing all the way to the infield as he works his way through the corner. Five laps to go. And we're gonna start approaching some lap traffic. Will they catch him before the end of the race? Oh, and they are dicing for position in front of Reitner. Four laps to go. Can Reitner keep enough of a distance ahead of the lap cars here? Coming up on three to go. Cece can see what's happening up ahead of him. Oh, look out, the lap car's right in front of your race leader. And the yellow is gonna come out with three to go. Horse race here with three to go. CC all over the back bumper of Reitner here to the green. Three laps to go. And now CC gonna go to the top side in turns one and two. Can he get the momentum around the top? No. Reitner with two car lengths down to three and four. CC gonna go to the cushion here at three and four. Try to ride all the way around the top side. But it's still Reitner. Now with three car lengths, now with two to go. And now CC's gotta go back down to the bottom. White flag is out, a third of a mile to go for Glenn Reitner, who has won countless features here, including last Saturday night, here at the Woodhull Raceway, down the back straightaway for the final time. Into three and four, Woodhull, put your hands together for Glenn Reitner, he'll win with the Empire Street Stock Series. CC is second. Wolf is third, Travis Webster a great run for fourth, and Brett Crawford rounds out the top five. And fans, as you make your way to the turnstiles tonight, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming out on a special night here at the Woodhall Raceway as we honor Alice with tonight's racing program. And we'll head down trackside to talk to your winner, Glenn Reitner. Well, he's climbing up out of the car. How about it for Glenn Reitner? Uh-oh. I think I know what's coming. I'm going to stand over here. Hey! <laughs> hey, Glenn, I, I, I'll give that a hell yeah. <laughs> Hey, there's a first time for everything. I have never been in a uh, double slam beer victory lane. Hey, here's a uh, feature winner sticker courtesy of Joe Wilcox. Perfect. I'm telling you what, man, you got a lot of laps around here, but I want to talk to you about the, the pass for the lead. We saw Wolf. He was banging the top, banging the top. And I said to Joe off mic, I said, Glenn's just waiting for a mistake here. He's a veteran here. He knows how to get around here. And you knew where the fast lane was tonight. Yeah, I mean, uh, Wolf actually had a preferred line up there, but you know, you're flirting with disaster when you're up there. So I was just waiting. He was hitting his mark, hitting his mark. Then I seen the front end of that car come up. And I'm like, I think he went a little too high. So yeah, we capitalized on that, but it was, you know, the track had a lot of characteristic tonight, you know what I mean? It was pretty slippery, so we had to go outside the box, and, uh, but hell, we're here. This is my first series race that we completed, <laughs> so hell yeah to that. Uh, I gotta give a shout out to uh, Rusty Stone, Stone Construction. They put up a bunch of extra money tonight for the Street Stock Series. They're a huge part of this race team and a huge part of this sponsorship on this car, so hats off to Rusty Stone and the crew there. And... Uh, <laughs> I gotta love all my fans too, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, oh, yeah! <laughs> but I gotta give a shout out to uh, Penn York Tax, um, Moose Enterprises, Lightspeed Tell Data, um, Smoking Weed Barbecue. Man, they're just a ton of sponsors on there that makes this thing go.
Let's go back to a couple weeks ago. You, you go to a racetrack that couldn't be any further away on the series, have a terrible night. What does it mean to come to the track that couldn't be any closer to home and come away with the win after, after that disappointment a couple weeks ago? Uh, you know, it's huge. It really is, Steve. And uh, I wish we had a little bit better showing up to Ransomville. We have only been there, well, that would have been my second time. And uh, the time before, we capitalized on a win. And the car always works good up there. So I was looking forward for a good showing there. But... Sometimes shit happens, you know what I mean? So, but hey, we're here tonight. You know, we had a hell of a fan or crowd on hand tonight and uh, hats off, you know. Last couple we've got coming up are, are Freedom and, and Land of Legends. What do you think about those stops? I'm looking forward to it, actually, I am. You know, Mike Walsh does a good job of the series. You know, he's just getting his feet wet in it. And I think it can only grow from here. Hey, man, great job tonight. The fans were loving it. Thank you. Folks, give it up for Glenn Reitner, your Empire Street Stock Series winner here at Woodhall. Joe, take us home, my friend.